Good morning students. Today we will do the backside exercise from chapter 1 computer languages. Fill in the blanks. A dash is a set of instructions which tells the computer what to do. Answer is program. The development of computer language can be classified into dash categories. Answer 5. Dash language consists of binary numbers that is 0 and 1. Answer is machine. Dash convert the assembly language program into machine language. Assemblers. Dash languages uses simple English words and mathematical operators. Answer high level. Dash languages uses mnemonic codes or symbols. Assembly language. Dash are the rules governing the formation of statements in a programming language. Answer is syntax. In a binary language, 0 means dash and 1 means dash state. 0 means off state and 1 means on state. Now, true or false. Machine language is the only language which a computer understands. Answer true. Assembly language is regarded as the first generation language. Answer is false. Each programming language has its own specific rules. Answer true. Compiler converts a high level language program into machine language line by line. Answer is false. High level language program has to be converted into machine language by the translator program. Answer is true. Fortran language was designed for business users. users. Answer is false. Programming is the process of writing specific instruction in a computer language. Answer is true. Machine language uses mnemonic codes. Answer is false. Now, application based questions. Kabil's aunt was a computer programmer during the third generation of computer language. Which kind of language did she use then? Answer is, she used high level language. Sumit is trying his hand at Java programming, but he does not know which type of language it is. Help him to solve his query. Answer is, Java is a high level language. Multiple choice questions. First one, a program written in the assembly language is called dash. Options, assembler, source program, object program. Answer is source program. Second one, and dash converts a high level language program into machine language line by line. Options, assembler, compiler, interpreter. Answer is interpreter. The program converted into machine language by the translator is called dash. Option, source program, object program, assembler. Answer is object program. The term software was first used by John M. C. Carthy, John W. Tukey, John Von Neumann. Answer is John W. Tukey. Now, answer the following question. First question is, what are the features of high level language? Answer is the features of high level languages are first one uses English words and mathematical operators. Second machine independent. Third has to be converted into machine language by translator programs, interpreters and compilers. Second question. How is assembly language different from machine language? Answer. Assembly language uses mnemonic codes or symbols in place of 0 and 1. For example, if the operation code for at is 0010 in binary language, it can be directly written as ADD in assembly language. Hence, it is easy to work with assembly language than binary language. Write the features of 5GL. Features of 5GL are 1. Used to develop artificial intelligence program. 2. 
machine independent and easy to learn. Fourth question, differentiate between interpreter and a compiler. Answer is, the interpreter is a translator program that translates line by line, execute the instruction and then repeats the procedure for the remaining instruction. If any errors are found, they are to be removed immediately, whereas a compiler translates the whole program at once, that is, it generates the object code for the program along with the list of errors. The execution speed of a compiler is faster as compared to an interpreter. Question 5. List any three characteristics of a fourth generation language. Three characteristics of a fourth generation language are first one machine independent, second one Minimal user skills required to obtain result. Third one, very high speed of execution.